Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Professor Calculus by Philip Newman. This is a region sum line Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, meaning we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And then there are also some blue lines in the grid, and each of these blue lines goes through at least two different regions. So for example, this blue line passes through this region, and through this region, and through this region. And the rule with the blue lines, region sum lines, is that within each region the line passes through, the sum of the digits that are on the line has to be equal. So in here, the sum of orange has to be the same as the sum of purple, and that has to be the same as the sum of yellow. And I really enjoyed the opening to this puzzle. It took me a minute to find this, but I thought this was super cute. So I'm going to start by sharing this with you, which is that we have these sixes and nines in row two and column one. That keeps us from placing six or nine in any of these cells in region one. So this has to be a six nine pair, and that gives us all three of the digits that are on this region sum line in region one. So the sum there is 17. Now, if we look at the line in region four, we already have a sum of 11 here, so we need six more to get to 17. So that's gonna have to be one, two, three, which will go there, there, and there. Now these guys are gonna be four, seven, and eight to finish off region one. Now, because this consists of four digits that are summed together, their sum has to be at least 10. The minimum is one, two, three, four equals 10. So this can't be a four. And in addition, because there's a seven here in column two, the only place for seven in column one is gonna be in one of these two cells. We can't put it here or here. So this can't be a seven, that must be an eight. So we can eliminate eight from those cells. Now, if we look at this line, this sum is now 13 because five plus eight is 13. We can't use two on this line just by Sudoku because we have two here and we have two here. So the minimum we can possibly get out of this four cell line is one plus three plus four plus five, which is exactly 13. So that must be what we have. Now, if we look at this row, we need three, four, and seven, and this has to be a four because the sum again has to be 13 and that will let us finish the row. These are going to be um, from six, seven, and nine, and they can't be nine because there's a nine right there. So that's gonna be a nine and a six. These guys are from two, seven, and nine to finish the region. And these are from one, five, and eight. Now that's not an eight. Now, if you look at this line, this is also a sum of four cells within region six. So it has to have a sum of at least 10. Therefore, these can't be one and five. So they must have an eight on them because one plus five is too low. So the eight has to go there and it can't be eight plus one because it's still too low. That's only nine. So it must be eight plus five, making that a one. So that's a sum of 13. So how do we make a sum of 13 here? Well, we already have three and four, that's seven. So we still need a total of six. So these two have to sum to six. And the only way we can make a sum of six without repeating any digits that we've already used is one plus five. That gives us a one here just by Sudoku. And if we look at this column, we still need a three, a six, and a nine. That's not gonna be a three. Here we have to place a six because seven plus six makes 13. So that's a nine and that is a three. These guys, we need a six, we need a two in the region, and we need a seven and an eight that finishes off the region. And also the seven I just placed finishes that six, seven pair. And these are gonna be one and two. These are gonna be four, five, and nine to finish off the region. Now in this row, we need a four and a nine. We need an eight in this region, can't go in these cells because the eight in column three, so it's gonna go right there. These are going to be seven and nine. And here I'm gonna need a two and an eight to finish this row. And I need a three and a seven to finish the region. Now that's not gonna be a two and that's not going to be a seven. Now let's pencil in a little bit more using Sudoku before we finish off this last region sum line. We have three and an eight here, those are resolved. Here we're gonna need a four and a five, those are not resolved. And here we need a two and a six. To finish off this column, we need two, five, and nine. This column, we're going to need two, six, and seven, and that's not a six or a seven, so that's gonna be a two. That makes this our six, which resolves this. 
And these are going to be one and seven, just like this. And we still have a couple of unresolved digits, so let's take a look at this line. This sum is already 15, so if we add 5, we would get 20, and if we added 9, we would get 24. So our sum is either going to be 20 or 24. However, these can't possibly be as big as 24, because 9 plus 6 is 15, biggest we can go is 20, 9 plus 6 plus 5. So that actually must be a maximum, and that's at minimum. And so they both sum to 20. And that is enough to let us finish off the puzzle. And that's how you solve Philip Newman's Professor Calculus. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.